How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Wolfgang the Warlock Expert Mode Let's Play. So in the last episode we started to battle the Lunar Pillars and we've been doing okay so far. We've got three of them down including the Evil Solar Pillar which uh, is the bane of existence for a lot of people. So we only have the Vortex Pillar left to go and then we will be fighting the Moon Lord. Oh, I hope we beat him. <laughs> so we've got a lot to do this episode, guys, so let's get started. So last episode, we started making some modifications to our little platform up here, ready to fight the Moon Lord when he does spawn. Now, being a mage, we have less defense uh, because mage armor is generally weaker, just in terms of defense score. So I've set up some statues here that are going to generate hearts uh, during the battle, which is pretty cool. And all you need to do is wire them all up to a single uh, well, wire, or timer rather, and what will happen is the mobs, or the statue mobs will spawn, and the spiky balls will kill them, and if we're below maximum health, which is going to happen against the Moon Lord, uh, they will drop hearts, which is cool. And a menacing compass, obviously. Um, so I'll take some damage and see if we can demonstrate this. So, oh, we did a ninja dodge on the first one. Okay, so we've taken a few points of damage. And you can see candy apples are dropping in there. Now, during the Moon Lord fight, we'll have a heart reach potion active, which we don't have on us now, but we'll craft one. So, it's a really good way to generate some bonus health. So, what we've got this pretty much set up now. We've got our um, ancient manipulators. Did I say it right? Yes, I did. <laughs> ancient manipulator. And we've got our celestial loot in here. So we've got some solar, nebula fragments, and stardust. Now a lot of you were asking me in the comments, and you were saying, Happy, you know, you've got the nebula fragments, why don't you craft the nebula gear? And I was like, whoa, I'm not sure if they really fit in with the warlock class theme we've gone with. Um, but a lot of you have said, please use it, please use it. So what we might do is craft them, um, and then, oh, do we want to though? Yes, we do. So we'll craft them, and then if we need them during the Moon Lord fight, we can always whip them out and start dishing out some nebula damage. So, we've got... Okay, we've got both. Oh my gosh, look at the damage on these things. Wow, so good. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's very cool. So what we'll do is let's reforge them. Oh, hey, it's a traveling merchant. Hey, buddy. What's going on? What do you got? Ooh, DPS meter. Yeah, we'll take one of those. Uh, anything else? A brick layer, a stopwatch, life armor. No, we'll just take the uh, DPS meter, that's pretty fun. Alright, let's see what you can do for me, Mr. Goblin. 16 gold, huh? Alright, deadly. That's not bad, we'll take that and see what we can get on this one. Quick, no. Adapt, so you can do better than that, but not annoying. Deadly. That's not too bad, so I'm just crisscrossing to make sure we don't end up with one really weak and one fairly strong. Okay, Agile's not bad. Celestial. Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. I like the reduced mana cost on it too. Alright, let's try this another time. Demonic. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with those two. I mean, yeah, no, that's good. Alright, so the next thing to do is craft some potions before we dash off and begin the end end of the game which is uh, fighting the vortex pillar so let's make a few heart reaches a few life force so we're not actually going to get a chance to stop after the um, the vortex pillar so we need to make sure we've got plenty of potions now uh, let's see we'll definitely need a couple of magic powers in fact you need more of them because they only last two minutes which is a little bit short, but hey. Uh, let's grab a few iron skins, and swiftness, and regen. And that's looking... Oh, there we go. Whoops, I had, I had one already. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's also... We may as well get a good amount of everything. Okay, so we've got five of every potion except the wrath potion. Uh, Titan, I don't think really. No. I think that's melee anyway. Ah, and let's make some more healing. Always good. And mana potions. Yeah, may as well make some more of those too. Oh, are they super mana potions? Oh, okay, whoops. I haven't actually uh, crafted those. I was just using graders. Uh, let's just put the graders in our potion chest. 
And then... Oh, I had heart reach anyway. <laughs> Happy, what are you doing? Okay, that's still cool. Alright, I think we're ready. It is time. Off to the vortex pillar we go, people! Okay, we're on the outskirts... Outskirts? <laughs> outskirts of the vortex pillar... Oh, gosh. Here it comes, people. And... Ooh, okay. Wow, there's a lot of uh, pits around here. This could be tricky. Alright. Let's actually try out our Razorblade Typhoon. No, not Razorblade Typhoon, it's the Razor Pine. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, it is a very good weapon. Hmm. Oh, if it had homing, it would be amazing. But uh, we do have to keep moving pretty fast here. Let's try our new uh, Nebula weapons. Ooh, except mana. <laughs> okay. Oh, I haven't got buffs on, so let's do that too. Wow, so cool. I haven't really used the Nebula stuff much. Okay, so the Arcanum has the homing attack. Oh, alright, that ice is in a bad spot. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the Arcanum has the homing attack. I think the Blaze homes as well, but it's more, uh, might have to leave the hood on for a while. So the Blaze has homing too, but it's more single target, and the Arcanum seems to have area of effect going on there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, one thing I can notice straight away is they're very heavy on mana, um, even with even with the mana reductions of the no, I think uh, even with the mana reductions of the Spectre set. But we're so far so good. Ninja Gear is keeping us out of harm's way, which is nice. Uh, always nice. Uh, yeah, okay. So we're doing a good job, just flying back and forward, dealing damage when we can. Avoiding those anti-gravity attacks. Oh my gosh, they're so annoying. Um, you know the ones where it like just holds you in place? Uh, they're not good. <laughs> not good at all. Alright, uh, let's get some blaze action going here. It's kind of cool. It's like, I just imagine like someone like just punching and like unleashing these massive sort of balls of magic. That's very cool. Uh oh, I got hit by it. Ah, so bad. Sometimes it just locks you in place, and that is the worst. Like, you literally cannot move. Um, I don't like that one. <laughs> okay, we're back in action. Beautiful. Oh, gosh, we've got so many spells at the moment. Oh, they're vulnerable to Icor. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize that. So, we can actually douse them with a bit of Icor, and then unleash, unleash the Razor Blade. All right, let's get Damage Mask back on here. Yes, yes. Alright, so far so good. This is uh, not too bad, but I suppose we probably did the hardest one earlier on, the solar pillar. Um, and I wanted to get that out of the way. I didn't want to, you know, have a hard fight just before the Moon Lord. That would have been, that would have been a bit tricky, that, I believe. Okay, we've got it. Let's just try and grab some of these fragments. Lovely. And, I don't know, can I just avoid these guys altogether? Because we want to get to our arena pretty quick smart here. Alright. Yep. Now, I usually like to refresh my buffs before I fight Moon Lords, so let's get ready. Alright, so let's get our buffs on. Let's turn on our statues for a bit of regen. Oh gosh. Oh. Okay, let's get some unicorn power happening here. Bring it on, Moon Lord. You got nothing. <laughs> Actually, should we... Let's get on our frozen turtle shell. And Star Veil, even. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. Okay. It's almost time. Oh. Uh, I might start with the Icor. I'm interested to see if it works. And we got a compass, lovely. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, Icor is not an option by the looks of it. I think the Razor Pine's actually going to be surprisingly good here. Ah, or not? No, it doesn't seem like it's doing too much damage. Nah, no good. All right, let's try the Arcanum next. So the Arcanum sort of floats and hangs around a bit, which is nice. All right, let's try the Blaze next. Whoa, ninja dashed out. Ah, gosh, we're getting pummeled. <laughs> ah, come on, Wolfgang, you can do it.
Well, that was a bit sad, and it's quite apparent to me that the arena that I've used for all my other expert mode fights is not going to work on Mage. Um, I don't think that was a, a matter of strategy as it was just with our current setup um, and low, lower armor score, it's just, we're going to have to move around. So the solution is going to be extending, uh, not using a box arena like this, but actually, yeah, using speed and platforms and relying on the homing attacks of the magic that we've got and just keep moving. <laughs> so possibly getting the, um, uh, the celestial stone finished will help because that gives armor and regen and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I think the ninja dash is good. Uh, the celestial emblem may not, oh, it gives 15 magic damage, 15%. Is it giving us that much though? No, I guess it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, we definitely gonna have to make some changes. So what I might do is a bit of a sped up segment and I'm going to create some really long runways. Um, yeah, possibly some heart lanterns along them. So we've made some modifications and basically I've expanded the runway quite a bit and it's a two-tiered sort of approach which means we can duck and dive between the two platforms and using the ninja dash we've got quite a bit of mobility now um, and the fish on wings will help too. Uh, if we're going through the box we can avoid his death ray but we could also just fly above it too. Um, you'll notice I've drained the sky lake. Uh, which was kind of fun actually, <laughs> um, having so much water pouring down there. Um, and we don't really need that, so yeah, that was kind of fun to do. I haven't done that before. Now, I was looking at my accessories, and I think the way to go is I really want to get a Celestial Stone, um, or even a Celestial Shell for the Werewolf. Is that... yeah. Um, because at night you get even further damage and regen and armor buff and all that good stuff. So we need to do a few things. We need to do a quick solar eclipse. We need to get the sunstone from Golem. So here we are making our way back into the Lizard Temple. And this is a place I thought I would not be returning to. But our first quest is to actually uh, obtain the sunstone uh, from the Golem. So we're going to make our way back to his chamber. And yeah, sort of, oh, hello. <laughs> And luckily some of the arena is still set up. In fact, all of it is except the traps, which is nice. The only issue is I don't have any uh, lizard power cells. So what I need to do is farm up a few of them. Um, ah, beautiful. So, <laughs> just, just like I was talking about in the dev set video, if you latch onto the roof of the golem's room, often mobs will spawn on the base because you're 30 blocks off the ground. Um, so that's kind of cool. So, oh, you. What are you doing here? Format C, yo-yo gloves, rah, 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 don't need that. And that's a duplicate, so we can sell that. Um, so I'll have to go off screen. Anyway, guys, so I'll farm up a few uh, lizard uh, power cells, and then we'll fight some golems. All right, well, I farmed three power cells, and, <laughs> and hello, Chaos Elemental. <laughs> And we got a bit of Mimic loot and a Yellet while we were doing that, so that's kind of fun. Um, now, I'm not going to do this with traps, but yeah, we should we should be okay. Especially with the Razorblade Typhoon, I'm imagining. 
So, uh, yeah, all we should really need to do is just spam, spam those hands, and, uh, yeah, we will beat him nice and quickly, I believe. Alright, so let's just get that happening. And we can always use the healing hood. Oh, <laughs> we might need to use the healing hood if we get in a bit of a pickle here, so... I think the second hand's down. Yep, it is. Lovely. And you actually get a breather when the head detaches, which is nice. Uh, let's try our nebula stuff. Is that pretty good against him? Ooh, yeah. It's good, but it drains mana really fast. But we can just burst him down, which is nice. Oh! Ooh. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll farm the three treasure bags and then open, open them up and hopefully we'll get the uh, sunstone that we need. Time to open up our treasure bags and hopefully get that sunstone that we need. So, we'll just spam them open in three, two, one. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, yes. So good. Oh, goodness. I was, I just didn't want to have to keep farming him over and over. So that's nice. We got it on the last bag, but hey. And a, a Hello Mimics uh, attacked during the last boss fight too, which was kind of funny. But uh, hey, we have one piece of the puzzle, guys. Now the next thing is, uh, we've got tons of solar temple fragments. Which means the next part, getting the moonstone, uh, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, the vampires are fairly common. Um, so yeah, so I guess what we need to do now is make our way back to our arena and smash up some solar mobs. But we'll take our water candles with us because they are going to help with the spawn rates very nicely. Now that we've got the Sunstone, our next step on our path to power is to fight a few solar eclipses and try and get, yeah, try and get the Moonstone from the vampires. Um, now hopefully they don't spawn too much on my platforms that I've been putting out, but uh, there's only one way to find out, isn't there people? <laughs> uh, no, we should be okay even if they do. Um, so, I might actually use the Razor Pine a bit for this one. Uh, it's a nice, good direct damage spell, so yeah. And I've rewired the, uh, spiky ball traps. Oh my gosh, Mothron. <laughs> oh, Mothron, what are you doing to me? Oh yeah, that's working nice. Go, Razor Pine. <laughs> and the vampires are already spawning. How lovely. We will take those. Okay, so vampires, you can drop the uh, moonstone whenever you are ready. I am ready to collect. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, this shouldn't be too bad. And I'm kind of liking the idea. We might be able to buff our stats quite a bit if we stack a few of these celestial items. And thanks as always for watching another episode of Wolfgang the Warlock. Now guys, I am surprised. I really went into that episode thinking I might have been filming the finale, and we got absolutely smashed by the Moon Lord. Like, it wasn't even close. And, uh, I kind of liked it. Like, to be honest with you, uh, and that's why I play Expert Mode, I want a challenge. And, uh, yeah, it kind of has challenged us to think of a way to boost our defense and things while still wearing mage armor. And, uh, yeah, we sort of got to, instead of tanking, which probably shouldn't work, really, when you think about it, it's, a, it's the last boss of the game, you know, you're a mage, you shouldn't be able to just stand there and tank it all. Um, so now we're going to have to try, like, an agility build, and, yeah, so use an arena, maybe even Rod of Discord, uh, if we can fluke one. Um, that would allow us just to teleport straight through his, uh, Phantasmal Death Ray. But, uh... Yeah, look, I think by next episode we should be powered up enough to have another go. And uh, if you've had any experience fighting him, uh, fighting Moon Lord as Expert Mage, let me know um, any tips and tricks you've got. Because, yeah, this is a doozy, guys. This is the toughest one so far. I love it. All right, it's time for some shout-outs, as always. And our first one is from Foxtrot TV. And the last we've seen a Wolf King voice. 
No, Yaren, I didn't eat the go-go. It was, uh, 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 it was the wyvern ate it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> I like that. Thanks, Foxtrot. And next one is from Tiny Towers, Tiny Tower Plays. <laughs> I used to play that game. <laughs> Tiny Tower Plays. And they've asked me to say in a milk glass voice, a milk glass, a glass of milk. Um, it's a bit of Shakespeare, guys. Cookie, cookie, where art thou, cookie? <laughs> oh, poor milk. It's like Romeo and Juliet, and the milk is separated from the cookie. What a romantic love story. Star-crossed lovers and all that. Thanks, Tiny Tower. And next one is from Star Gaming, and they've asked me to say in a Wolf King voice, I found cookies at the temple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old Wolf King. He's ve been a very popular character for shoutouts. <laughs> and next one is from Martin Knight. And they've asked me to say, I've come here to eat cookies and kill bosses. And I'm all out of cookies. And I think if you've played the game, you'll know what uh, that's a reference from. And uh, the last one today is from The Dog Gamer. And it's dog spelt D-O-G-E that seems to be very popular at the moment. And the last we've seen a Gavin voice, THROW THE BULLET! <laughs> Which I believe might be an ASDF reference in the episode where they can say, THROW THE CHEESE! And this guy like throws cheese at a UFO. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> well, I thought it was funny. <laughs> Alright guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. Um, you know, it was, it was pretty full on getting smashed by the moon lord like that, but hey, you know, it's, it's the end of... The series, it should be this titanic battle, and we're gonna beat him. We are gonna smash him. We just gotta, just gotta power up a bit more. <laughs> um, so for comments today, leave me any tips and suggestions you've got, uh, especially if you've fought him as a mage in expert. Uh, I'm really interested to hear all of your suggestions. And if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, click the little HD icon in the bottom right corner. You won't be disappointed, and you'll get all of our latest stuff straight to your subscription box. Nice and easy. Here's the most important part, as always. You all stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day, signing out. See ya. And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just... Oh, he's got 3,000 health! <laughs> he's only got 3,000!